as if it wasn't already cool enough. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take ChatGPT to a whole nother level. We're gonna do it using Google Sheets and a free Google Sheets add-on. Even if you're not someone who loves using spreadsheets, this method is going to allow you to bypass those character limits that you have within the regular ChatGPT web app. Let's go ahead and jump into my computer and I will get it set up and I will show you how to use ChatGPT and Google Sheets together to take things to the next level. So there's some situations where you might just wanna use ChatGPT and not the Google Sheets option. So let me show you how it compares and contrasts so that you can decide which one is right for you at the specific moment that you're at. So in this example, I have these features, right? And I want to turn them into benefits for sales copy. So features don't sell, benefits do. So one of the ways that I use ChatGPT is I'll do something like this. I will copy a bunch of features and I will come in here and I'll do new chat and I'll say, turn these features into sales copy with benefits. Keep them in a bulleted list. Okay, it's gonna turn that into something that is a little bit more usable and more like sales copy as opposed to just facts, right? So I can do that with ChatGPT, but if I wanted to, I could also do it with Google Sheets. I would do it by putting a prompt up here. So let's basically just copy that same prompt that I had, except I don't need the points because those are going to be right here, okay? So these are the features. So if I wanted to, I could do, paste that prompt there. Let's just put prompt here so it's clear. You don't have to do that. I just wanna make it clear for this video. I'm gonna do equals GPT, and then I'm gonna select the cell, and then I'm gonna select the prompt, and I'm gonna press enter. And it's going to load, okay? And then just like with ChatGPT, if I change this up here, I can say, keep it under three sentences. You can adjust it and it's gonna just keep redoing the prompt. Okay, and then let's say that I wanna drag it down through the other cells, right? I just need to change this to a fixed prompt and then I can drag that down. Now, if you aren't familiar with Google Sheets, you might think this is dumb. I don't want to I don't want to use this. This is too time consuming. So, let's talk about reasons why you might want to use it even though you're you're not a uh, Google Sheets expert. So, let's go to another spreadsheet that I have. In this example, I was doing SEO for one of my websites, and I need SEO Facebook descriptions. I'm using this other tool that lets me edit it in a spreadsheet and then it edits on my website. It doesn't matter for you in this example. Uh, but what I need is I need to fill out information here in this column, in column J. And a really fast way to do this would be to just take the SEO description and tweak it a little bit. So I already have all these SEO descriptions. I just need to tweak them and turn them into Facebook descriptions. So this is the type of thing that I would use ChatGPT for, but I have a whole lot of these, up to 625 right now is what I have. So I need something that I can scale a little bit faster. So what I could do here is I could do a prompt like this, summarize into 81 characters or less, make it catchy for Facebook, add relevant hashtags at the end. Okay, so that's my prompt, right? And I could do here, I could do equals. So you put the formula where you want the data to come, right? So I'll do equals GBT. Now I'll choose the SEO description because what I want it to do is take from the SEO description and make a Facebook description. I do comma that. And then again, let's make that fixed. Okay. And then what I can do now is I can drag that formula down. And depending on what's going on with the OpenAI servers at that time, it may or may not do it quickly. <laughs> it might say that you need uh, to upgrade your API to get more um, credits, more tokens. We'll see. Go ahead and just go down this list for now and see what it does. Okay and it populated a bunch of those. So if I wanted to go well beyond the amount that ChatGPT would allow, like as you know, sometimes it will cut you off if you're doing too many things at once, that is when this would come in. If you head over to openai.com backslash pricing and scroll down, you will see the language models, base models, pricing. 
multiple models, each with different capabilities and price points. Ada is the fastest model, while DaVinci is the most powerful. Prices are per 1,000 tokens. You can think of tokens as pieces of words, where 1,000 tokens is about 750 words. This paragraph is 35 tokens, okay? So keep that in mind. You're literally paying less than pennies for the words, but if you're doing like I did and you have 625 different line items and they're all adding 80 words each, it could add up. In regards to the add-on, they do have a calculator. I will link to that in the description. So you can actually come in here and do price for the amount of execution. So let's say 50,000 tokens per execution, 10 words per execution. So this will change based on whatever it is you're using, which model you're using. So text DaVinci is going to be the default. Text ADA gets a lot cheaper. Okay. All right. Now let's get into actually installing it. All of these links are down in the description. So let's start by just doing, I'm going to use an account that doesn't have this set up already. So let's do a new Google sheet to add this, go to add-ons and then get add-ons and just type in chat GPT. It will be this first one, GPT for Sheets and Google Docs. Let's go ahead and click on it. And then we will just do an individual install. Continue. Next. Done. Okay. Now I'll come into extensions. I should see it now. So I'm going to need to set my API key. Get your API key here create new secret key. Y'all aren't going to be able to see that. Paste it, save API key. Okay. And now I'm good to go. And if you have a paid plan, it will be linked to that. So let's go ahead and just test it out. If you want, you can just do GPT and then in parentheses, a joke about Excel. That's basically just the same as a prompt. If you do equals GPT question, what did the spreadsheet say to the other spreadsheet? Let's get together and compare cells. But all right, uh, so that is that. Like I said, I'm not gonna get into every single case use because that's physically impossible, uh, but there is a cool template that they give you that you can use and it shows all the different functionality. I only covered the basic GPT prompt. They have several others uh, that are pretty sweet. So go and check that out. Just in extensions, go down to GPT and then scroll down to see examples. They also have video tutorials, which is part of the reason why I chose not to go much deeper in this video because they do it uh, better than I can. So go check that out. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully that is useful. It's been super useful for me. If it's the type of video you like seeing, be sure to hit subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Until next time, see ya.